Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video just to help people out with dungeons. I've been prepping a lot, and uh, a little too much actually, but I have a few things that I think you should try to get before dungeon starts, so that you have the best chance of getting as far as possible, before all the other overpowered items are already out. So I've prepared a chest here with the stuff that I think would be ideal. A good sword, Pigman, AOTD, Midas, Reaper Scythe, the Yeti sword, whatever. Just have a good sword. Pigman's probably better for the mage and healer class just because it's got a good mana ability. But uh, Midas is definitely better for DPS. Good bow, especially if you're Archer. Runans or um, the Scorpion bow, whatever, spider one. But uh, this is also an important thing to have. And then healing, especially if you're the healer class, for sure. It, it's just kind of in the title. So Ornid Zombie Sword, Normal Zombie Sword is fine too. Ornid's just a slight upgrade. You get this from two Zombies Hearts and a Normal Stick, and you get the Tier 1. To make the Ornid Zombie Sword, you need Golden Powder or something like that. You get it from the Golden Ghouls in the uh, Crypt. It's not super rare, it took me like 30 minutes of killing them to get. So, uh, it's not that difficult, as long as you can make the zombie sword. I believe there's another item that you need, but it, that one's not that difficult to get. It's like a golden, enchanted golden block or something, I don't know. But, uh, back to it. Mana Flux would be good. It would be ideal. Overflux isn't really necessary, that's just too difficult to get. Radiant works, but to a lesser extent. Healer should definitely have Mana Flux, and maybe Mage too. Everyone else can have Radiant, that should be okay. Wand of Mending at least, um, Wand of Restoration or whatever the tier 3 is, is of course ideal, but Mending is fine. And then depending on your class, you can have either of these sets. Superior would be good for all of them, but uh, Wise for Healer or Mage, ideally. And Strong. Preferably with Tarantula Helm, but not necessarily um, for Berserker, or also Mage. Mage is kind of DPS. Uh, tank should have either the Revenant set with probably a Protector Helmet or Perfect Armor. And then, of course, the full Perfect Armor set, as high a tier as you can get. Full Protector Drag, any of those good defense sets would work. And then everybody should have a crystal set at full wise. Mine is only three quarters what smart and then wise, but um, it's just a bunch of free mana because you can put it on stand in bright light as like it is now, and it'll be like this, giving me with only three quarters smart and barely any like mana buffs, nearly twelve hundred mana. Alternatively, if you're somewhere dark, it'll only give you 433 or less, or a little bit more mana, and it will become purple, as you can see here, because the light level is only 3, so it gives 50% less than it would normally give. Then I step into the light a bit more, now it's less purple, and it's got 150% boost, and then fully into the light, and it's got 200% boost. So, be, right before you enter a dungeon, if you stand on a torch, uh, like, here you'll get the full light and you just let your mana charge, and then let's say your tank and you switch to your revenant set. Now you just have the 1200 mana to use for AOTE, or power orb, or whatever you want. I do also suggest having an AOTE because there are some hard to reach places. Grappling hook would also work, but AOTE is just ideal. And um, high tier alchemy is also useful because there are dungeons potions and potions in dungeons such as critical or strength would be very helpful. Mine is only level 17, but I'm working on getting it stronger. I suggest having at least level 20, if not more. And then, of course, combat is very useful just because of the deal more damage to mobs and, and crit chance too, but deal more damage to mobs is very important. I deal nearly double damage to mobs just because of my combat level. 
One of the best ways to grind combat XP is to go into the crypt with a Revenant Horror 3 or 4 quest started and just stab a bunch of these because they give about 50 and they're quite easy to one tap and you can get into a lobby with barely anybody or by yourself if you're lucky and instead of trying to grind endermen where there's other people kill stealing you can just stab these and then once you get your revenant that also and of course the psychophants and stuff and you make some decent money especially if you get a uh, foul flesh from the tier 3 or 4 you can also do this with tier 2 it's just uh, not as effective and um, I currently cannot solo a tier 4 but as you can see I am bidding on a crystallized heart so that I can hopefully solo one but tier 3's are indeed quite easy at this point just place a radiant power just sit in the corner and if I do end up getting a little low I use the healing wand but um we'll skip to the end of this as you can see I get well you might not have seen it but I got 271 combat XP from killing the boss which is about a little bit over five times as much as the uh, crypt ghouls themselves it is also quite rare, but if you are running the healing class, Crypt Ghouls have a chance of dropping the Ghoul Pet, which increases your healing abilities and the Ornate Zombie Sword's healing and reach, which is quite useful. It's extremely rare, but it's possible. That's about it. Oh, and I almost forgot. You gotta get a good pet. Preferably one that would also match your class, such as the ghoul pet for healer, a, uh, yep, my, my eyes are burning, um, pigman for damage if you're using the pigman sword, wolf, doesn't really have a specific class, it's just a decent pet, fairly cheap, enderman's good for DPS, um, skeleton is a, is specialized for archer class. And of course, Jerry is the best pet of all. Tiger is also good for DPS. So just make sure you get a good pet with a decent level. And yeah, that's, there's not much to pets. So yeah, hopefully that helps you out. Um, just run whatever class you want. If you can't get this stuff, it's not that big a deal. You'll just have to grind a bit more during dungeons. But uh, I suggest getting as far as possible so that you can enjoy dungeons to its fullest. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, see you next time.